Initially, I hid the sport from my family. However, I realised I was living a double life. I started training and I fell in love with it. It was fast and furious. However, I was afraid that my family would not allow me to pursue this sport, which is why I kept it hidden from them. I did tell them that I'm attending a gym, but they didn't know exactly what I was doing in the gym, which was, of course, Muay Thai kickboxing. I was only 18, and I realised there was hardly any females in the gym, let alone Muslim, Bangladeshi, Asian, petite, female, going into a male-dominated, one of the most brutal sports in the world. I kept it hidden from them for around four to five years. But I realised my father had an inkling that I was doing some sort of martial art because he had seen my trophy and he, he questioned me one day when I walked home and he asked me and he said why do you walk like a boxer and I, I was petrified I ran up to my room and I had the one trophy in my room I hid that and I thought maybe he had seen that Roxana Um, I guess one of my main difficulties was when I first began the sport having that inner conflict whether I was going against my belief, my tradition, my family values um, and I had that for several years where I was debating within myself whether I was conducting myself correctly within society, within my family, within the gym um, and that debate was quite tiring for myself because I was trying to please myself, my coach, my family, my community um, and uphold my beliefs and my religious and traditional beliefs as well. I designed my own range of sports hijab simply to support more Muslim women to participate in sport and I know how difficult it was for me to come into this gym and confront my family and tell them what I was doing. And I realized if I can make one difference for more Muslim women to participate in sport, where they don't have that conflict, um, and where faith meets fitness, and they can collaborate with both, and they can still train and not feel like they're compromising on their belief, that, that's a huge thing for myself. The fact that I managed to find a balance between being an Asian female, being a Muslim female, being a British female in a male-dominated sport. And I've managed to find a way to balance it all. Um, and you can have it all. You can do all of those things and be, be a world champion. Rukshana! Oh my gosh! Run, run, run.